This is part six and the final part of my Multi Plus MP2 2x120 50-amp split-phase inverter installation. That's a mouthful. Being done on a 2025 Airstream 25 FB twin. Okay, so upon further review, I've decided not to install the display in this cabinet. Originally, I had thought that I would just run a channel up the wall into the cabinet, routing it through the back and then up to a convenient location up here. But upon discovery of a chase in the bathroom, right here, this, this is actually covered by another panel. I found this and it's not really used for anything and it's an excellent chase. I've already marked the uh, drill holes for the 7 inch display. And it'll go down to the floor, whereupon it will exit right down here. And it'll go around that corner using a box that I've already been messing around with here. This box will mount down there and the cable will come around the corner using some handy dandy little cream colored wire chases that I've discovered. So, the installation will take place. Now, I've not adulterated anything inside this unit, but I'm going to cut a hole in this right here. And so, there is no going back at that point. So hopefully, I measure 10 times and cut one time. Well, uh, well I know that others have done this, extended the uh, HDMI and uh, USB cable from the original cable comes with a seven inch display. But I'm gonna do it again, test and be happy, verify that it works. So we'll give that a shot. Victron does give you a drilling template for the seven inch display, which I used and was very convenient to locate the three one inch holes that are necessary. So here now is the part that I dreaded and I would think everybody dreads, and that is I'm gonna cut a hole in my brand new 2025 Airstream. And I hope I do it right, and I took my time, and it wasn't that bad, it was still a little bit nerve-wracking from the standpoint of, I mean, you're cutting a hole in your Airstream, but it was able to be done. And here's a look at both the multi-control panel on the top and the seven inch display hole necessary on the bottom. Here's the receiver for the multi-control panel. I used my square, I can't have it crooked. Snapped right in, hooked up the Cat5 cable, powered up, everything was cool. And now the seven inch display. They give you the screws that are necessary for mounting both. So the seven inch display snapped right in. I was able to uh, power it up, hook up the USB and the HDMI cable, and it came alive. And everything looked square. Nothing more satisfying than pulling the vellum off a display on a brand new install. I think that signifies, I think I'm done. Well, almost. I had to dress out the chase a little bit using some cable clamps and tie wraps. I didn't want any vibration in there going down the road in my, in my rolling earthquake. So now I bring the panel in. Here's a look at the panel, the angular panel that's gonna go in place and dress out this chase. There's only six screws that hold this in place. It comes off very easily. And here's a look at the displays again. Now, I think I'm done. Until the wife sees it, then she might have some say-so in this. One of the nicest things about multi, uh, the Multi Plus that a lot of people aren't aware of is the ability to assist. In this case, notice that I'm drawing 925 watts from the grid, but I need 1395. And you can see the word assisting as it added the additional required wattage. Here's a look at the new displays the new graphical interface that came out with a few months ago. There's the main screen that looks familiar pretty much to those of you that have seen that before. Here's a look at the temperatures. I've got several probes, including Ruvies and Mopeka LPG sensors, propane gas sensors. Love being able to see it on the display. And that's about it. Up until the final part, oh, I need to tell you about this. Why do I have a multi-control panel? 
because it makes this thing wife friendly. Okay, back to the final step, clean up. The net sum of every little thing that I needed to pull this off. And it'll take me literally a day to remember where to put everything. Well, that completes my install of my MultiPlus. I have a, a whole group of schematics if necessary. You can message me and I'll send you a copy. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my install. Oh, one last thing. The cost? About $7,000.